بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to my videos and a new serial on assessment of clinical reasoning and cognitive skills The first video is just introduction to this serial The serial إن شاء الله will be of four videos Okay uh, the outcomes of this serial is to justify the needs for assessing clinical reasoning and cognitive skills, which are uh, the main topics. I think they, they, they are not new topics, but we need to highlight and focus on certain aspects of them. Uh, then we, rec we will recognize the main educational principle and the concept related to assessing clinical reasoning and cognitive skills. The third is to describe the process of clinical reasoning and what to be assessed. The last but not least is to identify different tools and strategies to assess clinical reasoning and higher cognitive skills. Okay. Today, as I mentioned, is just an introduction to assessment of clinical reasoning and the high cognitive skills. Start by the learning cycle. Uh, we always start any educational um, issue, program, uh, course, lecture, session by identifying the learning outcomes. Then we plan for learning and teaching and selecting the teaching and the learning activity in alignment with learning outcomes. And as you know, we like the word alignment, which is in Arabic, then we go to the uh, learning activities uh, and the sessions, whatever it's type. And finally, we have the assessment and feedback. Let us say constructive feedback to close the loop of assessment. Okay. Uh, also, I think all of you, mashallah, are famili familiar with the uh, Miller pyramids, which have four domains or levels. Uh, start by nose, which is the lower level of cognition, followed by nose how higher level level of cognition, and it is our scope in this serial shows how, and the fourth domain is the does, which is in the workplace, and by the way, it, some of its elements are related to the higher cognitive level also and the clinical reason. Uh, we also have uh, another level which is is, which I, which is related to professionalism and the identity, which I agree with you that it is uh, difficult to be assessed. Uh, also, Miller focus on the learner from the novice to expert. I think, and you will agree with me, that our main problem is not related to the nose level or the assessing the nose level, or assessing the, jo the shows how. But I think we have some shortage in the nose how and in does. Because uh, we, we, we usually assess using, for example, um, recall questions. And also in the shows how we have OSCE and OSBI. But we need to focus in the serial and we need to, we need to focus in our assessment in the knows how and the higher level of assessment and in the dust also we need to assess our trainee in the workplace using um, more advanced assessment strategies and methods. Okay, also if we are speaking about Bloom's taxonomy with the lower level in the remembering or knowledge and the higher in the modified one in the creation, we need to move upward and forward in assessing, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, creating, even we, if, if we are still using our MSQ, but we need to modify it to assess higher level of cognition. Also, if we are speaking about the uh, course specification of the NDC AAA in Saudi Arabia, what we want to focus is to focus beside knowledge and understanding on the skills or let us say the cognitive skills in our assessment but the question here why we wanted to focus on this higher level of cognitive skills and the clinical reason 
all is related to entrustment. We want to have a graduate, whatever they are, from medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, nursing, applied health uh, science, or even any higher education discipline, we need them to be entrusted to ensure that they achieve the learning outcomes, to ensure that they are competent, whatever they specialty. So to be entrusted, we, ha we need uh, an assessment method which uh, is valid, uh, reliable, has educational impact, uh, it is visible. So this is will be, inshallah, our next session about the concept and the main principle of assessment. But please remember, we need our graduates who are interested and we are sure that they achieve the learning outcomes and they are competent. So today we just uh, cover an introduction to assessment of clinical reasoning and cognitive skills. Inshallah, next time you will speak about main educational concepts and principles for effective assessment of clinical reasoning and the higher cognitive skills. I hope you benefit from this session. Thank you and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.